Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to use extract variable policy in Apache Edge and extract information from XML payload. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache Edge account. You need basic understanding of Apache API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's say there is a backend and a client is trying to send an API request and let's assume that uh, the request is an XML and you want to extract the information that is present inside the XML and you want to use this extracted information for various purposes like doing validation or changing the API behavior before you send the request to the backend. Similarly, whenever the response comes back, if the response is an XML payload, you can able to extract information from the response payload and then do validations or change the API behavior before you send back the response to the client. You can able to do that using extract variable policy. As you can see here, I'm logged in into Apache Edge as an ARC administrator. Let's create a simple uh, proxy. So I'm going to click on API proxies and then click on plus proxy to create a new proxy. So we're going to use a simple uh, HTTP pin post uh, echo API to demonstrate uh, extracting information from XML. Choose reverse proxy, click on next. So I'm going to name my proxy as extract variable XML demo base path as slash v1 slash ev xml demo use existing api as http colon slash slash http bin dot org slash post click next choose authorization as a pass through choose default and then click on build and deploy once proxy is deployed navigate to the uh, overview screen as you can see uh, this is the proxy endpoint you can use in which you can able to make an api call Let's uh, add a simple extract variable policy to extract information. Let's say uh, you have a simple XML request where you are sending a visitor details like name, age, and gender, and you would like to validate age is 18 years or more. You want to extract this particular age from XML and you want to do validation before you send the request to the backend server. Let's see how to do that. Uh, click on uh, preflow, click on plus step. So I'm going to add extract variable policy. I'm going to name it as extract variable uh, XML extract age. So as you can see default, uh, there's a lot of uh, variables uh, are supported. So I'm going to uh, remove everything except uh, uh, source. Uh, so the source is request and I'm going to name it as uh, uh, visitor and I'm going to extract age. So you're going to use xpath to extract age. So xpath will be visitor slash age. So visitor slash age. And the type is integer. So it's simple. Uh, so variable uh, prefix is visitor. That means our variable age will be available on visitor dot age. The source for this is request and uh, xpath is slash visitor slash age. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract this information and we're going to do a simple validation. So what we're going to do is we're going to check age is 18 years uh, 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 or more. If not, we're going to raise an ex exception. So I'm going to add an uh, uh, exception using raise fault policy. I'm going to say raise fault age less than 18. Click on add. So I'm going to say reason phrase uh, payload as uh, age is uh, uh, less than 18. I'm going to say 403. Uh, and we're going to add a uh, condition to execute this policy. So I'm going to say condition as visitor.h is lesser than 18. So let's save the proxy and then click on trace to see the action. Start trace session. So I'm going to make an API call using the uh, postman. So I'm going to make a post call. Make sure our header is set to content type uh, application slash XML. Uh, without that extract variable policy XML payload uh, uh, will not work. So I'm going to send this body. So as you can see, age is uh, less than 18. Make an API call. You should see an error. There you go. Age is less than 18. Uh, if you see in the trace, uh, so we have extracted a visitor and we are checking for age, which is less than 18 or not. Let's make an API call with age more than 18 and we should see 200. There you go, 200. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apshi.com.